this video, I'm going to show you how to read the data set into the R. So basically, in this course, we're going to use R as a calculator for you to perform different tests and to create different type of graph. So there are many ways how you can enter the data in R. So one of the ways is to read the data directly. Usually, we will organize our data in Excel. So for example, this is the data of 16 students belong to two academic programs. And this is the mark of their exam. So in order to read this data into the software, so after we key in the data in Excel, we should go to the file, click Save As. So we should not save as an Excel. Okay. We should save as a CSV. After that, create a folder where you keep all your assignment, okay, and all your data. So let's say this is a data set. So I want to compare the midterm marks between two programs. And I save as a CSV file. I just click save. After that, I should be able to find my file in the folder. So this is a folder where I save my file, and this is the data set. Even though we save as a CSV, we still can open the file by using Excel. If we cross this original data set that we save in Excel, we can double click this CSV file. The file still can be read, the data still can be read by using Excel. So this is how it looks like Okay, when you open in the notepad. So after we have the data, the next thing is to set the working directory or active directory. I will suggest you to put all your data, okay, not only for this tutorial, but for the rest of the tutorial in the same folder. So that means that whenever you open the R Studio, you can just set one directory or one folder where you can locate your data and file easily. So first we need to set the active directory. So what we have to do is to type set login directory put bracket put the quotation mark open and close then after that we go to the folder so this is a folder we just click on the top to get the address of our folder so this is a full address where you save your file just highlight the entire address just control C on your keyboard to copy and then paste in R. This is not complete yet. What we have to do after the last character of your path or address, enter two slash. Okay, enter two slash to define the folder. And after that, after each of these slash, add another one. After you have done this, you can just click run. So now you can see our directory already set. Okay. So what we can do, we can go to the another window which is here. We can click file. Then we can view the file in our directory. If you click on the file, you can view the data. Okay. After we have set our directory, then we can start to read the file. So here we only have one file compared midterm marks. So what we can do, we need to activate the data set. Because now in our R is still empty. So what we can do, we can import this data set in our R calculator. We need to write a name for object. So you can write anything to label this file. So the space is not allowed. So if you want to put a space, you put an underscore. Okay, we just write the name of the object. So we want to import as an object. Type the smaller then. Then after that, followed by a dash. Then space. So we need to read the file. So the file format is CSV. So we type read dot. 
So as you can see, once you have start to die, they will auto complete. So we have to choose read CSV. Then after that, create the shift key in your keyboard and then put the quotation open and close and paste the name of the file. So this is the name of the file that we save in here, remember, and you need to follow by the extension. Once we execute this line of command, so we can just put the cursor at the end, then click run. And you can see we have a data, okay, in our R. Now we have a data set of 16 observations and 3 variables. So the next thing that we want to do is to check our data. Just type str, which stands for structure okay, of the object. Now we have the object name marked HS027 and HS40. This is the data set okay, that we have just imported. Okay. We can just copy this and then just put str, which is stand for structure, has, and then click run. So you want to explore the data set. So as you see here, we have 16 observations, so 16 student, 3 variables. The first variable is student ID, so I have 16 factor because each of the students have their unique ID. Then I have a second variable which is program, which I have two label, so two factor. Okay, one is HS27, one is HS40. Then I have another variable, another column, which is a total mark. So this is a number, integer. Remember, whatever they enter in the console window is going to disappear after we close it. That's the reason why we will type our command here and execute from here. So when we click run, the command will automatically enter in the console window. So this far, we can save and we can open it by using the RStudio every time. And you can repeat the same analysis without typing the command again. Now it's not saved, so it's in red color. To save this, we can go to file, save. It's good to save the file in the same folder. Just write my R script. You can write any name that you want. Then dot r create save. So now your script has been saved. So let's say if you close the script, you can always open it again by double click on the R script. So whenever you start something new, you need to execute this command again. So first step is to set the working directory. And second is to read the data. So as long as you did not move the data from the folder, they always can read this data according to this address. Just click run. Then we can examine the structure of the data.